Hey guys, today we are looking at farm vehicles. Oh my gosh. Moving from one and a half acres to 14 acres, we might as well be living in a, on a thousand acre ranch in Montana because everything looks so much bigger. And we are getting a little bit more used to it, but as we're living here only a year, we are realizing that, you know, we need some kind of vehicle, maybe a farm vehicle, utility vehicle to help us get stuff done. Now we just got this gorilla cart when we moved here and it does a good job of hauling stuff, but it does have its limits. You really feel the burn when you have to haul up five gallon buckets of water up to our meat chickens. The first thing that came to my mind was a side-by-side -side because I have friends that have side-by-sides, but they're just so expensive. Even the used ones I find, they're either super beat up or crazy expensive. I thought about using a golf cart. I've seen people use those on their farm, which I think is pretty fun. It should be dual purpose because we are a one car family and we have been for the past 12 years. And having a farm vehicle that I can do stuff around the farm and take to the hardware store would be a plus. And then I seen these Japan 4x4 farm trucks. Woo! So in today's video, we're gonna go test drive some of these trucks and I just might buy one. There's all the mini trucks right there, all lined up. All right guys, today I'm at Mayberry Mini Trucks. I've seen these vehicles online, never seen them in person, but I think they look pretty cool. You know, they're definitely more economical as far as price wise than say a side by side and they're pretty equivalent if not, Maybe even better than a side-by-side. -side. Oh man, we may be going to the grocery store in this. I like how these trucks do have the longer bed. You could put a sheet of plywood back there, some two by fours. I think all of these are four wheel drive, which is a plus. If you notice that the, the wheels on these are an opposite. <laughs> I wonder, man, if that would be something to get used to. We're a little family with little cars. Reminds me of like a, my first car when I first started driving because these are stick shift. When's the last time have you drove stick? It's been a while. All right guys, I'm here with Tony, the owner. Yes, hello. Tell, tell us where we're at. So Mayberry Mini Trucks is the um, largest importer of mini trucks in the United States. That's not our goal, but that's just what happened. So Jason asked me to explain how we got started. So <laughs> we had a side-by-side -side, and the side-by-side -side was what we thought we needed, but it wasn't really a work vehicle. It looked like a work vehicle, but it wasn't really a work vehicle. It kept breaking and it wouldn't handle weight. The last straw was when I was hauling wood in the bed and the left rear wheel snapped off and went <laughs> rolling past me. Well, then I knew that was it, yeah. I'm finished. So I fixed it one last time yeah. and sold it and then I got into the mini trucks. And now I probably have 270 trucks in my inventory. I don't know why I have so many trucks. I might need some, some psychological counseling <laughs> to get to the bottom of that, but we want to be the best in the business. We really uh, try hard to get good low mileage stuff, which is the key. And, um, and we got the law passed, making them street legal. So, let me hold that. Oh, yeah. Please, thank you. So I haven't drove stick probably since high school. Yeah, that's <laughs> totally fine. Very few people are comfortable with stick getting in so, a mini truck. So we got it in four wheel drive. The middle is the brake, right? That is correct. It's the same as <laughs> this your- This is the clutch. Yep. Okay. You got it. Whoa. Oh. See? That's all right, that's all right, <laughs> that's the way it goes. Okay. You're getting it, you're getting it. Yeah, let me see a backup camera. <laughs> yeah, the backup camera was left off of this unit. <laughs> yeah, you're doing good. Let your foot off the clutch all the way. Now go left, left. It is in four wheel drive right now. It is. Okay. Now you're gonna turn right onto this dirt road. I 
ones. Now these things come with heat only. Correct. Right, right. Once in a blue moon, you'll see air conditioning. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down there. <laughs> All right. So now let's the river. Yeah, just come to a stop. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Now we're gonna put it in low range. And to go into low range, we do that. And now we're in low range. So now you can roll forward and let go of the clutch. And now the engine will hold you back. So you notice we're going really slow here. Yeah. And now what I want you to do is kind of veer to the left and you're gonna cut a hard right. Go a little more left, okay? And cut it right all the way. And now you can see that we're traversing the river bottom. Just keep going? Yeah, just keep yeah. going. And now you're gonna climb that hill. All right, way to go. And now you, if you have a farm or a homestead, which we have, uh, we have cows and pigs and bees. Well, we don't have pigs right now, but um, we uh, do when we need them. And so they're great for the homestead. I mean, that's the, that's the sweet spot. I'm looking to get one of these to like drive to the hardware store. Right. Like, is there like a, a max distance that you would recommend like no more than, I don't know, 30 minutes from the house? As long as you keep it under 60 miles per hour, the mm -hmm. distance isn't as important, although I'm gonna qualify that by saying it's not a cross-country vehicle. If you want to go from, um, um, you know, like one town to the next, that's fine. Uh, you can go to Tractor Supply, or Home Depot, Walmart. There you go. Now, do they all ride a little bit differently, depending on? A little bit. Does it depend on the if it's a Suzuki or Mitsubishi? Yeah, no. They all kind of ride the similar. Okay. The Subaru is more of a road vehicle. Okay. This is more of a work vehicle. Suzuki. This could work for a homesteader. Oh, for sure. I think this definitely can. Now, th this could pull something. Oh if yeah. I wanted to pull something. Oh yeah. A Suzuki is the one mini truck that you can easily put a hitch on. <laughs> That's right, I don't have a brake pedal to stomp on though. <laughs> Did you say the dog is in the back? Yes. What dog? Your dog. My dog's not in the back. Yeah, he's right here. Oh my gosh, go, go, go. Don't let her jump out. Our dog, Binley, <laughs> is a stowaway. <laughs> I mean, illegal. That surprised me. Oh, I know. She's back there. She's having a good time. We're the ones. I know. I'm I the that. one that's nervous about it. <laughs> Billy's cool. Billy's like, hey, just chill out. Everything's fine. That's a high jet. Uh, so he mentioned a Suzuki would be better, or a Mitsubishi, or I think it was a Daihatsu. Yeah, the beef brisket. That, that looks awesome. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Oh man, I love the smoker too. What is this one? This is a mid-engine okay. Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi, I got But you. if your engine is back here and your front wheel comes off the ground, now that engine's closer to the ground. Uh, on a Daihatsu, it's back here. Mitsubishi is here. Suzuki, it's here. But basically, they're in the middle. And, and the important thing is they're kind of tucked up in the middle of the truck, which is a better arrangement for being off-road. A lift gate? What? fire engine <laughs> also guys he has a youtube channel <laughs> i do it's not much of a youtube channel what's, what's the youtube channel is it maybe mini trucks maybe mini trucks okay i'll put i'll put his link down below so you guys can check out <laughs> thank you so i came to this dealer because he has the title on all these plus he services them you know oil change make sure they're running i mean he has a mileage on here and he has his own YouTube channel. So he seems very transparent on what he's doing and selling here. So I, I feel like that's, that's, that means a lot, you know? The bed looks really clean on this one. No, no really rust spots. I think that might be maybe a drawback on some of these is that they have a little bit of rust. You know, they're, they're not brand new, they're used. Like that one's 7,400 bucks. And I've seen them anywhere from 5,000 up to 11,000. 
and I think it just depends on how how many miles it has uh, you know what kind of shape is it some of them have little dings so that looks like the batteries right here what's also cool about these is that this can turn into a flatbed now can you tell me like what are, what were the original use for these trucks do you know yeah I don't know the answer is no I don't know okay. but most of them are used in Japan for farming and um, around the well the homestead yeah, I mean okay. in, in Japan they still have a lot of family farms right and uh, rice is big okay. and uh, rice farms and running around town so they basically use them in Japan for a lot yeah. of the same stuff that people like us use them for here okay yep. and that's where you got them from the import oh yeah imported I, I imported them from Japan okay. exactly so Tony's gonna let me try a rib so this is part of our sales technique <laughs> I, is I to bribe the customer actually I came on a good day if you don't buy a truck it really doesn't make any difference it is a little hot so okay. be careful oh my gosh is it good it's awesome Mayberry mini trucks right there <laughs> <laughs> Not guaranteed if you come here that. That's right. Actually, you'll get a rib. It's like maybe once a year <laughs> you might hit it right. Man, I came on the right day, yeah. Like, thank okay. you. All right. All right. Take care. Drive safe. Thanks. Bye. All right. All right guys, here it is, 1992, four wheel drive. It's street legal. It's right hand drive. This is gonna take some time to get used to. If you're looking to get one of these mini trucks, contact Tony from Mayberry Mini Trucks. I'll leave that link down below to his website and tell him that Jason from So The Land sent you. Stick shift. It has a radio, but usually these radios do not work in their AM, but I could get a radio for it. And also it's in kilometers. It has about 20,000 miles on it, which is pretty low. Let's measure this bed. Six and a half foot long bed. Four and a half foot wide. This bed is longer than my Tacoma. What? The engines down below, filter. Uh, oil changes down there. Two seater? You know, it's not gonna fit all of us back here. The thing that I absolutely loved about these is that they were dual purpose. We could take it to the hardware store. Right, this is the first trip on our, our new vehicle here. We're headed to the hardware store. Wish us luck. <laughs> I'm wondering how much it costs to fill this tank up. $13.94. Five again on tank. Look at this. We made it. But mainly it's gonna be a farm truck where it's gonna take us and help us do stuff and help us work our land and help us do more farming stuff, more homesteading things. And I think it's just gonna make our lives a lot easier. It does not have a back bumper. I guess that's one thing I don't love about it, but I could get one. I mean, they do sell them online. Also, the front bumper I think could be a little bit beefier. This is just plastic. You know, maybe having something to come up, which I've seen before. You could put a hitch on these things, a winch out in the front. This turns into a flat bed. You just unhook that. I mean, how cool is that? I could go get hay in this thing. You could hold about seven to 800 pounds in the back of this bed. And then they also have lift kits for this. You could raise it up a little higher, maybe put some more four wheel drive tires, more beefier tires on this. This truck can go pretty much anywhere on our property. There's some spots up here in the woods that we had cleared with our forestry mulcher that we need to make a little bit wider. We could drive up all along this fence line and this little truck's gonna help us fix our fence.
I might put a Soul of the Land logo on the side. I can see that. It's gonna take some time to get used to um, because I'm so used to doing chores uh, on my two legs. You know, stuff like that, or hauling water, or uh, hoses and stuff like that. Like, I'm just so used to walking. Mr. Toad's wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the new truck? I love it, but for me, it's just novelty. I'm sure for you, it's <laughs> so helpful to do all these chores way up here. Yeah. But, um, I don't know, I, I like the romance of walking in the woods. Oh, man. Maybe not on a very hot summer day, so maybe in the summertime, well, I will Well, certain be, things. Yeah. Like, if I want to haul something and take you're the five one, buckets somewhere. Yeah, you're the one who lifts all the heavy things. I don't lift up the heavy things. I might go and feed animals and do that kind of thing. I'll lift heavy things, so this is probably better for you. Oh, there's, there's the pigs. There's the wild pigs. I've only had this for a few days, but so far, so good. I'm really loving it. I like how we could go into town and use it on the farm. I'm still getting used to the stick shift and uh, being that it's on the right hand side, that's a little weird driving into town. Uh, but you know, I could update it a little bit over time. We're just gonna see how this works. I really hope it turns out. Stay tuned, we'll see how this goes. I'll show you guys me using it around the farm. Thank you guys for being here and we'll see you guys on the next one.